My name is Shane. Um, I was diagnosed with HIV in 1998 at Tiger Brook Hospital. In October 2003, I was diagnosed with TB. I did a six-month short course. Um, after about two or three months, my sputums were cleared. I completed the six months of treatment. Uh, but then just a month later, I was diagnosed again with TB. At that stage, I still had a pain in my right hand chest. But then when it persisted for about three weeks, we, she sent me for x-rays. And that's when we found the, um, that the TB has caused a cavity on the right lung. Um, final sputum that was taken at the clinic um, in January then showed that the TB hasn't cleared up. Where, which clinic did you come from? Saxon C clinic in Atlantis. In Atlantis? Yeah. Okay, did they tell you why you should come into hospital? Well, they told me that I'm um, multi-drug resistant um, with TB. TB? Yeah. Okay. You know, what happens with the MDR TB is that your sputum, they take your sputum and they send it to the lab for testing and they find that you are resistant to two of the most potent drugs, you know, that are important for the treatment of the MDR-TB. Glossosigia-Ipilis is a TB. Ukuba, we are born and got to call in place, yes, I have him been, we are Cooper. Uziva, got to use our Cooper, the man, my pleasure. Gunyan's a lake, Luba, Ukrele, Unesi, Oganya Ukrele. When there Iabulala, uba anyange gang. Okay. I, I just want to show you your your your, your chest X-ray, you know, so that you see exactly what we're talking about, where your TB is and what you have got. The first X-ray here is from the 21st of January, but we've got a second one now. Okay. So in a normal lung, it's supposed to be black like this. You know, without all these white things that you see, it's supposed to be black like this. So in this x-ray, it shows that your TB is down there in the right lower lobe, okay, right lower zone. And also, if you notice that just at the, pot, at the top, that's where you've got your apex. If you look at that round thing there, that, that is a cavity in the lung. It shows as a cavity there, okay. And this is the, this x-ray is really more or less the same as, as that one. So as your TB improves, this cavity should close. It should get smaller and smaller until it closes, and this should disappear, and it should remain black like this on okay. the X-ray. Mm -hmm. So tell me, doctor, if after 18 months of treatment and I mm -hmm. do the whole thing without slipping or anything, will I be able to get MDR TB again? Yes, it is possible to get MDR TB for the second time. It's rare but you can get it, but your chances are not higher because you've had the MDR TB before. Do you think maybe um, my HIV status plays a role in me contracting MDR TB? MDR TB. Some people who've never had TB before, just because they've, they are HIV, they've got a 10% chance of getting MDR TB per year, just because they are HIV, even if they've never had TB before. Oh, so it does play a significant role in the development of MDR TB. For people that have normal, normal pulmonary TB, I would um, advise them to finish their treatment. They don't want to get multidrug resistant TB. Four tablets per day is much better than 13 tablets a day. ETP is CEC for a situation and in Isim Africa. Amazing our Utelela ETP, I a sluga, Lapa Ezuin, Gotwa, Amazing a pezul, a tolagala ezifunda zueni, ezing a so queen, Lolwand, ezifana and Jonah Langa Kappa, Canyon and Puma Langa Kappa, Yanga Yoguba Manzana and Oguswaga. ETP, Iakula, 
kuzindawo zokuhlala ezingenayo imithombo eyanele kanye nezinabantu abaningi ngokweqile ikakhulukazi uma zimanzana futhi zimnyama The possible reasons for the big difference or, or, or the fact that South Africa is low on the list in terms of success with regard to the TB program is because patients with TB need support. Okay? Often they're the poorest patients. They have, there are many reasons why they don't want to take the medication. It's, uh, the medications do cause nausea and um, tummy upset. And so one needs to be able to understand and listen to patients when they have these problems and try and provide, find support for them in terms of the disability grant, which uh, patients with TB are eligible for and to understand why they might not be taking their therapy. I mean, taking any medicine for a long period of time is difficult. And if one understands why one needs to take it for six months, and if more treatment literacy programs around TB are provided by the services, more patients may be adherent.